I love Uncle Charlie and all his wisdom. Tell me, how did you connect to him in order to portray him so beautifully? You know, <clears throat> my my daughter, my 16 year old daughter, read the scripture of 15, I guess, at the time. And she, I said, what do you think of this? this is kind of, she was like, well, I mean, you're just playing yourself. You're just like somebody who stands around and lectures kids. I mean, how hard can that be? And I was like, okay, well, there's my end. There's my hook. I'm really just playing myself. I had a tremendous amount that was familiar to me about this. Like, I'm more or less like a couple of years, maybe younger, but pretty close to the age that the, the kid is in the movie in terms of how old he was when the period. So I remember the period and what the mm. world was like. And my dad worked at a bar. I used to come up to the bar all the time and see him. And that whole dynamic, plus he was a very, uh, he was a guy who wasn't a formally educated guy, but really cared about writing and books and language. So it was a, actually a lot of things to, mm -hmm. to, to hook into. But really the, the, the truth is like, the writing was great, and so how you could identify with it sort of anyway. And George is a really wonderful director who gave great, useful, precise direction. And it was a great cast. So, you know, um, if you can't um, kind of find something to, to, to hook into with that, I think you're, it's time to get out of the business probably. <laughs> I'd agree. So what kind of advice or wisdom are you imparting on your kids? Clearly they're listening. They've noticed you're well, they're, they're not tuning it out. Kind of, like I've become that, I'm like, you know, you think you'll always be like cool and down and no, you know what I mean? And then it turns out you just have kids and then you're just old and you find yourself being like, so, oh. you know, who are we listening to on this? Who's this singer? I, does this slap? This is the radio, it's not the radio, Dad, there's no radio. I mean, no, I know it's not the radio, but you know, it's like you become this hopelessly nerdy, out of touch, like unbelievably uncool person. But it's a joy, it's lovely, it's really wonderful. I, I, I try to impart, I, one of the things that I believe in that I really liked about this character was that he's honest with, with JR. You know, there's a certain idea about parenting that's like, well, it's to sort of shield the kids from the world and protect them from all the difficult things and this contemporary thing of, you know, the sort of participation trophies. I remember when my daughter was nine, she got a trophy after her season in the little basketball team she was on and she was like, Dad, why did why do I get a trophy? We didn't win any games. Is this a winless trophy? <laughs> I was like, see, kids know. You know what I mean? They kinda know and and now I wouldn't go so far as like, you know, Uncle Charlie does to to tell a kid like, you're no good at sports. Don't play sports, <laughs> you know. Right. But there's something beautiful about honesty because yes, you already know the things that are hard that are true. And so it's kind of validating when an adult tells you and then you can believe them when they tell you it's gonna be okay. You know, that's I love so true. things are good and and then you you actually believe it and that's like, essential. It is. And you're working with your old pal George again. Uh, how is George as a director this time around? And he is known for pranks on set. Did that take place in the making of this movie? Unfortunately, because of the uh, the whole COVID restriction thing, you know, the amount of sort of, you know, like as soon as I say cut, you have to look back in your sarcophagus, you know, and get wrapped up and everything. And like, so there wasn't as much, I think, opportunity for pranking. I missed out on the real yeah. prankster uh, a aspect. I, I wish I had like a cool, like I wish he had like took a dump in my litter box and stuff and I could be tell the funny story, but he didn't. Um, I, I, oh. You know, maybe I should ask him if he'd do that for me as a rap gift. But I, I do, um, working with George, who I love and have known a long time, but on this movie, I really recognized even more like what a thoughtful, smart actor he is. And so much about acting is not just your ability to feel the feelings and to be realistic and to put yourself in these imaginary circumstances, but also the choices you make about how to play a scene. And he's brilliant in that way. And he was really generous with sharing those those ideas and choices. And it made, it was like, you'd hear it and you go, oh my God, such a brilliant idea. Of course, like I'm embarrassed I didn't think of that. And <laughs> it just made the performance much better. And he's very generous that way. So it was, it was a gift, honestly, truly.